Hello guys, how are you? This is Joe Arcaya from Canadian Experience. Joe, Joe Arcaya. Joe Arcaya. Discussion. Powerful topics. Reaction from people around the world. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Joe Arcaya. Joe Arcaya. Joe Arcaya. Joe Arcaya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm here again. Thanks. So uh, we're going to our topic for uh, today is uh, what you are going to do when you if you lose your job here in Canada. So welcome to Canadian Experience Channel. It's been a while that I haven't uploaded a video. So since uh, it's pandemic, uh, there's lots of jobs has been, you know, uh, lots of uh, Canadians lost their job because of the pandemic. And uh, also the, uh, the restaurants, you know, uh, mo most, most of the affected are the restaurants and the hotels. And yeah, lots of businesses ha has been closed since the uh, 2020 March uh, pandemic started here in Canada. So until summer, it, uh, there was a little bit of recovery. And then uh, when the winter hit again, and most of the people are staying inside or indoor, and then the pandemic or the COVID uh, COVID. Uh, uh, victims or the number uh, of spikes went up again and the schools or uh, some of the students uh, back to uh, home uh, home study and uh, uh, the, some of the jobs has been uh, cut down again some of the restaurants has been shut down again so, well, our topic is when you lose your job in Canada, what are the income uh, that you will get a support from the government? So that's our topic for today. All right, let's begin. So the source that I've got is from, uh, from the government website uh, from the uh, Canada website, Canada government of Canada website. So the most important thing here is when you lost your job here in Canada, what are the other source of income you will get? So I'm just gonna read this to you. Sources of income after job loss. So compensation you may receive if you lose your job uh, your employer may owe you certain kinds of pay. Your provincial or territorial government oversees how much you should receive. To find out what your employer may owe, owe you, look over any documents that outline your salary and terms of dismissal. This document may include the letter of offer given to you when you got your job, an employee handbook, types of compensation your employer may owe you one or more of the following. Uh, severance pay. So severance, uh, severance pay is a money your employer owes you when you lose your job through no fault of your own. The amount of money you get depends on how long you work for your employee or employer. So the termination pay, termina termination pay is money your employer pays you instead of giving you advance notice that you'll lose your job. For example, instead of uh, telling you that your job will end in two weeks, your employer gives you termination pay and you leave your job that day. In some cases, your employer may uh, owe you both termination pay, 
termination pay and severance pay. So like what happened uh, last year during the pandemic, and it was announced by the, uh, you know, even it's not from pandemic or even if there are, you know, you were terminated from your job or you, well, of course, if you quit your job, that's a different story. But if you lose your job, you'll be covered for something, something else that uh, is programmed by the government, like, you know, uh, like uh, what happened in the pandemic days. The first uh, month of the pandemic, lots of people has been uh, sent home. And well, not only that, if there are cases that you were terminated because of something else, then that's you receive a uh, termination pay or a severance pay. And if you have a vacation pay that has not been paid, and then you will get that too. So vaca vacation pay, if you earn a salary instead of an hourly wage, your employer may owe you for vacation days you didn't use. If you earn an hourly wage, your employer may give you a percentage of your annual pay as vac vacation pay. This is usually between 4% and 6% of your day. So getting paid if your employer becomes bankrupt. So there's, this is one also of the, uh, uh, you know, the issues. If they get bankrupt and then you lose, you lose your job. So you may still be able to get unpaid wages or termination pay if your employer becomes bankrupt or is subject to receivership. You may be eligible to get money through the Wage Earner Protection Program. So it's the uh, it's a uh, government program. So we're gonna separately discuss that uh, or, or this uh, f f so to find out how to apply for the Wage Earner Protection Program. Uh, we'll, do that, we'll do that separately. So next is when you lose your job, you get an employment insurance. So EI may help you with your finances until you find a new job. If, uh, if, you, uh, if uh, it provides regular benefits if you lose your job through no fault of your own, EI pays a percentage of your previous income up to a certain amount. So apply for EI as soon as you stop working because it takes time to, for benefits to start. So we're gonna teach you also uh, if you're new in Canada and uh, these are the things uh, that you need to know when you lose your job. So learn how to apply for employment insurance and we'll tackle that separately. So record of employment, uh, when you apply uh, EI, uh, the record, if uh, record of employment plays an important role. So make sure you ask for record of employment from your employer as soon as you lose your job. You may apply for EI before you get your record of employment, but you'll need to provide it before you get EI benefits. So these days, uh, most of the employer, uh, they, they just transmit the, e, the record of employment uh, online or electronically. And other source of income when, when you lose your job here in Canada, of course, uh, temporary, part-time, or casual work can provide you with income until you find a new job. Note that any money you earn could affect the amount of EI benefits you may get. Remember that you must pay income tax on all the income you earn each year. Your employer will uh, often deduct income tax from your pay. Note that the amounts your employer deduct may not equal the full amount of income tax that you owe. Be sure to save money to pay your income tax when it's due. So yeah, uh, if you some some people like 
uh, when the uh, when they apply e- EI benefits, and then of course because if it's not uh, enough, and they uh, go for a part time. So when you go for a part time, and then that will that will deduct because you you're going to report uh, every time uh, when you uh, when you are on EI, you're, uh, you you will be reporting to the Service Canada uh, every week. So and if you are having a part-time job and you also need to report that because they're gonna calculate your the income to the EI or employment insurance that you are receiving so we're gonna tackle that separately so another one is when you lose your job in Canada using your savings of course uh, during during the time that you are that you are on on the job and receiving money and you have uh, uh, savings if you save money in an emergency fund uh, use it now to help pay for living expenses while you're search for a new job remember to start building your emergency fund again uh, once you've got more income it should uh, cover living expenses for three to six months. Avoid using money you've saved for retirement or education unless you urgently need money to cover living expenses or make debt payments. So yeah, it says here avoid uh, using your retirement or education savings like uh, because uh, you know sometimes when you pull out those money from your uh, savings and they taxed it, the government is taxed. Uh, uh, tax if you have, uh, like for example, if you have 20,000 in your savings account, when you uh, pull that out and then they're gonna tax it and you lose money. So I pray f- it, uh, it, it's preferred uh, if you have an emergency fund that I- in your savings in your bank account so yeah and the next one is uh, when you lose your job uh, it says here on the on their website borrowing from your life insurance policy so you may choose to borrow from your permanent life insurance policy to help cover living expenses while you search for a new job. Permanent life insurance policies often have a cash value. Your insurance company may let you use the cash value of your policy to take out a loan. Note that if you don't repay the loan, the cash value of the insurance policy will be less. This means the money your uh, beneficiary get upon your death will be less. The money you get if you cash in a policy will also be less. All right, those are the the uh, the things that you're going to do when you lose your job. You get a compensation. Uh, there are compensation that you may receive, but the most common benefits that you will get from the government is the employment insurance that's the fastest uh, way to run to when you lost your job here in Canada so yes and uh, we're going to tackle next time uh, what to do when you lost your job so we'll tackle employment insurance first on the next video so please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, we have uh, more we have more topics to be discussed here all right so thank you for uh, listening here uh, for subscribing the Canadian experience uh, experience channel bye bye